This video is brought to you by Hit Point Press and the month of Hecna. Pre-order now to get new content each week, including Hecna's Hellish Howlings, the official soundtrack by Mint Potion. Pre-order now at Hecna.com. Hello and welcome to the Gallant Goblin. Today I've got something a little bit different for you. The Red Opera Last Days of the Warlock is a campaign setting and adventure book by Apotheosis Studios that focuses on the Warlock class for D&D. It includes a Warlock themed 10 act adventure, a whole new setting, 10 side quests, new subclasses and patrons and races and a lot more. And it's all inspired by the heavy metal album of the same name by Diamorte. So it also comes with a full orchestral soundtrack keyed to certain sections via QR code. If you want to hear more about the Red Opera, you can go check out our interview with Apotheosis Studio founder and CEO Jamison Stone and the video in the eye up there. But as part of the project, they commissioned four minis of the main Red Opera characters, which are available on their web store. And that's what we'll be looking at today. Many thanks to Apotheosis Studios for sending them our way to review. These minis are produced in a different way than our usual minis. They're printed in color using some relatively new tech, so they haven't been painted at all. This gives them a slightly different look than we're used to. Full disclosure, Grady and I are both working on Apotheosis Studios' next book, Siren's Battle of the Bards, which in my biased opinion, is shaping up to be something really special. But today, let's take a look at these four minis. Let's start with Dorian the Accursed King. Now, fair warning that there may be some spoilers in here for the adventure, though I'll try to tread lightly. If you're concerned about spoilers, just mute me and listen to some cool music while you go look at these minis. Dorian here is a human warlock, as you may have suspected. In his younger days, he was one of the Accursed, a group of warlock and mercenaries who sold their services to the highest bidder. Dorian eventually became their leader before finding true love with Fate the Shield Maiden, whom we'll talk about next. Dorian was ready to settle down, and his patron led him to a place up north where the veil between realities was thin. It was there that he founded a haven for warlocks, the twin cities of Yonder and Cothrock. Fate the Shield Maiden was another member of the Accursed who helped found the Warlock Haven with Dorian. She found her role in helping to match Warlock pilgrims with the patrons they so desperately sought, though Fate herself struggled to maintain her own tenuous connections with her patron. She helps run the affairs of the cities through politics and policy and defends them on the battlefield, all the while protecting naive and ambitious pilgrims from abusive otherworldly would-be patrons. This is Lacroix, the Night Captain. So it turns out, when you make your home in a place that borders worlds that contain monsters, sometimes those monsters wander over into your yard, and it's best to have someone there to push them back before they get into the house. That's where Lacroix and his Fallen Legion come into play. The Fallen Legion is made up of former warlocks whose packs were eventually broken. Lacroix once had an Archdevil patron who fell at the hands of a pesky paladin. Seriously, do paladins ever think about anybody but themselves? Majin is hard to describe, uh, especially when I'm trying to avoid spoilers here. So I'll keep this one more surface level. Majin is a tiefling who serves as the Accursed King's advisor, where Lacroix, the Night Captain, ensures that all the mortals in the cities remain safe from otherworldly threats, and Fate the Shield Maiden ensures that the new warlocks receive a fair deal in their new packs. Majin's job is to ensure that the patrons are kept happy with their arrangements, which is a pretty thankless job. So these are some really cool, unique minis representing some very interesting characters in the Red Opera adventure. But of course, they differ a little bit from most of the minis in our collection, assuming that my collection looks like yours. They have hex bases rather than round or square, which doesn't really matter much. The one thing that may deter some folks is that they're at a slightly larger scale than our regular WizKids minis. Now this is gonna bother some more than others, and when you get them down on your game table, those minor scaling issues tend to disappear unless you're highly sensitive to that sort of thing. Specialty minis like these that aren't mass produced aren't necessarily cheap, and this set of four is available on the Apotheosis Studios website for $79.95. But 
If you're playing the Red Opera Adventure, they could be really nice to have. They also have a set of six minis in the same style, available for Siren's Battle of the Bards, including minis of Vlanya and Vajra based on Satine Phoenix and Jameson Stone, respectively. Those can also be found over on the Apotheosis Studio website. Finally, if you haven't checked out Hecna from Hit Point Press yet, I highly recommend you go take a closer look. We are close to the end of the month of Hecna, and if you do want to pick it up, now's the time to do it while there's still a pre-order discount. Hecna is a 5e adventure that'll take characters from level 1 to 10 in a whimsical but sinister dark carnival setting. You can get the PDF of the book for just 25 bucks, which also features a ton of printable reference cards, maps, standees, and other reference materials. And you'll also get the Hecna soundtrack by Mint Potion. You gotta act soon though, go visit Hecna.com right now and check it out. And thank you for watching today. In case you didn't see, we launched our YouTube memberships plan, which will give you access to exclusive regular news videos to help you keep up with all the latest mini and TTRPG news. Not to mention access to other little goodies. You can go check it out using that join button down below the video to learn more. Also, come join me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. For now though, please stay safe, have fun, love each other, and I'll see you next time at the Gallant Goblin. <laughs>